Hello, Keller Yogi children. I miss you guys so much, and I can't wait until we're together again soon. Now, just because we're not together physically, so meaning in the same room together, doesn't mean that we can't be together. So this is a great way for us to stay connected. I'm actually going to give you activities to do and ask you questions, and I would like you to answer back, and we'll talk about it the next time we meet virtually um, again. So I want us to interact just like we were together. Um, it just might take us a little longer to communicate because we're doing it um, over our phones and our tablets and not in person. So let's get started um, by just taking a deep breath in together and relaxing. I don't know where you're coming from. I am coming from lunch. I just ate a really, really big lunch. In fact, I went out of my house to go get it. Um, I went to Schlotzky's today and I did drive through and I had a sandwich, um, one of their little vegetable sandwiches. They're very, very good. Um, Schlotzky's is still open and you can go through the drive through and this is really cool, I think. So everybody's a little bit stressed out right now because um, they're staying inside more and they're not getting out as much as they usually do. But this just, this made my day. So I bought a sandwich for me and one for my husband and I got us some chips too. And um, we sat down at um, his table. He's working from home. So we ate together in his office on his lunch break. And um, so we were eating our sandwiches and I had taken everything out of the bag and he asked me for a napkin when he was done. And I looked down in the bag and what do I see? I see something else is in the bag. And I thought, what else? I didn't order anything else. What, what could this be? And I opened it up and you all, um, they had put a chocolate chip cookie in there for us which I thought was really, really thoughtful and sweet, um, especially with everybody being so stressed out right now. It was just such a nice um, little gift. And y'all, their cookies aren't very expensive. They're like 50 cents, um, but getting that cookie made me feel connected um, to those people, even though, um, I can't, uh, go into the dining room at the restaurant right now. It just, it made me feel like I was still a part of the community and somebody cared about me. So maybe, um, we should be thinking of ways that we can do things like that for our friends. And I know a lot of us aren't going out of the house. Um, that was the first time that I had ventured out this week, um, but I needed to run to the store and get some other things, and I thought, while I'm out, I might as well just see what it's like to drive through at a restaurant right now. Um, but maybe be thinking of other things that you can do for other people um, to let them know that you're still there, um, because we can feel like when we're stuck inside the house that maybe that we've disappeared, that our friends don't know that we're still here. So what would you want your friend to do for you in this situation? Um, what would you want to feel connected? So maybe it's just asking your mom or your dad to let you send a text message to your friend, um, your friend's mom or dad, sending maybe a picture, um, maybe holding up a sign. Um, oh. Here, let me show you. Let me show you an example of a picture that you could take. Hold on. I've got my pen and paper right here, just in case. So maybe you could draw them a picture. And write them a little note. And this might actually be backwards, but basically this is me. I just made it a quick one. 
we've all got a lot of time right now. You could make it as elaborate as you want. Maybe you could paint them a picture and hold on to it for them to give to them the next time you guys are together. And it says, I love you. And now that I'm looking at it on my phone screen, it kind of set, looks like in heart one with an exclamation point in front. Anyway, just little things you can do. Um, so maybe think of something that you could do for somebody when they're um, not face to face with you and leave it in the comments below and I will read them tomorrow so we can give suggestions to all of our friends. Um, but for now, so again, we talked about maybe you're a little stressed out. Maybe you're not, which is great if you're not. I go back and forth. So sometimes um, when I first wake up in the morning, I'm okay. I'm like, okay, it's another day. And I'm going about my normal routine of getting ready, um, getting my baby dressed, making breakfast for my baby and for my husband. Um, but then after that is when I would normally go out to the house and we would um, we would go to yoga, we'd go to the chiropractor, and we can't do those things now. So, um, you know, probably about three or four hours after I wake up is when I start to get a little bit stressed out um, because, I don't know, maybe I'm bored, I'm running out of things to do, um, and I feel like those around me are bored with me, um, running out of things to do. Uh, so I start to get creative and um, it's a good time to clean your room. <laughs> I'm sure that your mom and your dad have maybe asked you to do that, but maybe you could rearrange your room. I actually, the room I'm in right now, um, I actually just rearranged it a few minutes ago so that you guys would not see um, a bunch of junk behind me. So maybe you could rearrange a couple of rooms um, or maybe organize your toys or maybe look for toys that maybe you could give to people that don't have the same type of toys. Like you could trade toys with somebody um, when we're going back out and being with our friends again. Anyway, <laughs> so um, uh, what I'm saying is we tend to get a little bit stressed when we're cooped up inside for too long. So I have a little meditation that will help you relax. So, you don't even have to have your yoga mat out right now. You can just lay down on the floor right where you are and just take a moment to listen to all the noises that are in the room that you're in right now. What does it sound like? Is it quiet? Can you hear the air conditioner? Can you hear the fan? Can you hear a TV in the other room? With your eyes closed right now, I want you to listen to the, all the sounds that are in the room that you're in. And now just take a deep breath in and let it go. Let's do that three more times. In through your nose, and out through your mouth. In through your nose. Out through your mouth. One more time, I want you to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. And now close your mouth and just breathe in and out through your nose. Now I'm just gonna take you through a few little things to do. There's no right or wrong. Your eyes are closed. This is all about what you're feeling, okay? So first, I want you to pretend that you're squeezing a whole lemon in your left hand. Squeeze it very, very, very hard. Like you're trying to squeeze all of the juice out of it and make lemonade. Feel the tightness in your hand and your arm as you continue to squeeze out every last drop. Now drop the lemon that's in your left hand and just relax. See how much better your arm and your hand feel when they're relaxed as opposed to when they're tight. 
Now you're going to pretend that you have a lemon and it's in your right hand and you're squeezing the whole lemon with your right hand, squeezing it really, really tight, squeezing out all the juice so that you have some really lemony lemonade. Feel the tightness in your hand and your arm. And then drop the lemon out of your right hand and relax and see how much better your arm and your hand feel when they're relaxed and not squeezing. Now, I want you to pretend that you're a furry, lazy cat. You want to stretch. You stretch your arms in front of you. You raise them high over your head and way back to the side and you feel that nice pull in your shoulders and you stretch your arms longer and longer and now just let your arms fall back to your side okay kitten stretch again stretch your arms up over your head reach 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 Maybe do a little bend side to side, feeling the stretch in your armpits. And then just let your arms drop back down by your side. Good job, kittens. Now pretend you're a turtle and you're sitting on a rock by a nice peaceful pond, just relaxing in the warm sun. It feels nice and warm and safe here, but uh oh, you sense danger. So you're going to pull your head into your turtle house and you're pulling your shoulders up towards your ears and you're pushing your head down into your shoulders. Hold it tight. It isn't easy being a turtle in a shell. And then relax your shoulders down. You can come out into the warm sunshine. The danger has passed. Oh, wait, wait. There's more danger. There's more danger. So you're going to have to pull your head back down into your shell. Squeeze your shoulders up into your ears. Oh, waiting for the danger to pass. Maybe it's a big spider. Now drop your shoulders away from your ears. Your head can come out of your shell. All right. Now. I want you to pretend that you have a giant jawbreaker bubble gum in your mouth. It's very hard to chew and bite down on it. It's hard. Arr, arr, you're trying to chew down on it. Let your neck muscles help you chew and then relax. Just let your jaw hang loose. Notice how good it feels to let your jaw drop down. Okay, now let's tackle the jawbreaker again. Arr, you're biting down on it. It's so hard to bite down. Arr, 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 arr. Ah, now relax your jaw. Let your jawbreaker just roll out of your mouth. Okay, now. Here comes a pest. He's landed on your nose. Try to get him off without using your hands. So you're gonna have to wrinkle your nose up over and over and over as many wrinkles in your nose as it takes to get that fly to move away. Scrunch up your nose like a bunny. Scrunch it up real hard. Scrunch, 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 scrunch. Okay, good. You chased him away. Now relax your nose. Wait. He's coming back. Scrunch up your nose. Scrunch it, scrunch it, scrunch it. You gotta get the fly off. Scrunch, scrunch, scrunch like a bunny twitching your nose. Scrunch, scrunch, scrunch. Okay, let him relax. Now, here comes a cute baby elephant. But he's not watching where he's going because he's a baby. He doesn't see you and you're lying in the grass and he's about to step on your stomach. Don't move. You don't have time to get away, so just get ready for him. Oh, 
Make your stomach very hard. Tighten up your stomach muscles real tight. Hold it. He's going to step on your tummy. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. It looks like he's going the other way, so you can relax now. Let your stomach go soft. Let it be relaxed as it can be. Doesn't that feel so much better? Oh, but wait. Here comes that baby elephant. Again, he's coming back around again. Oh, he might step on your tummy, so squeeze your tummy muscles. Squeeze them, squeeze them, squeeze them. Get ready, he's gonna step on your tummy. <sighs> now let it go. He's not gonna step on your tummy. He went the other way. He found another baby elephant to play with. Now, I want you to pretend that you're standing barefoot in a big, fat mud puddle. Squish your toes down deep into the mud. Try to get your feet to the bottom of the mud puddle. Push down and spread your toes around, spread them apart. Feel the mud squish up between your toes. Now step out of the mud puddle and relax your feet. Let your toes go loose and see how nice it feels for your feet to be relaxed. Oh, let's get in the mud again. Okay, squish your toes down deep in the mud. Try to get your feet to the bottom of the mud puddle. Squeeze your feet, spread your toes apart. Push your toes, flex them and point them into the mud. You're trying to get through that mud puddle down to the bottom of it. And then now relax and let your toes go and see how good it feels to relax. Take a deep breath in through your nose and let it go out through your mouth. In through your nose, let it go out your mouth. Now I want you to roll over onto your right side in fetal position. Remember that's curled up like a baby. And just take a resting breath here in fetal position. And then you're gonna bring your top hand down by your face and you're gonna press in and slowly bring yourself up to a comfortable seated position to where you can see me again. Now don't forget, um, post below in the comments, have your mom and dad help you, um, post below in the comments something that we can do for our friends to let them know that we're still thinking about them um, something we can do to let them know we're still here for them and something that we can do to where we don't have to physically make contact with them. I love you guys so much. The light in me honors the light in you. I can't wait to see you guys again. Namaste.